So today we're going to look at Anatomy 101 and possibly Anatomy 102. Hello everyone, my name is Kim. I am a registered dietitian nutritionist and a certified diabetes educator. And today we're going to be speaking about nutrition focused physical findings. So nutrition focused physical findings is an in-depth process. It is a process that requires you as a dietitian to actually put hands on your client and search for signs of malnutrition as it relates to fat loss as well as muscle loss. In this video, part one, we are going to focus specifically on fat loss. And in another video, we are going to focus on muscle loss. So nutrition focused physical findings is, as I stated before, an in-depth process. And it is a process that actually gives you as a practitioner a lot of information. It's like putting the pieces of a puzzle together. So let us look at the areas to assess for fat loss. These areas include the orbital region, the upper arm, the mid axillary region, as well as the ribs. So first, let's look at the orbital region. Orbital is just a scientific term or another word of saying the eye region. So when we look at the eyes, it is really the bony cavity that contains the eyeballs. So in a healthy, nourished individual, as you were seeing on the screen here, the cavity, as you see, is filled out. In our orbital region, we have different fat pads that allow our eyes to be filled out. For someone that is suffering from malnutrition, specifically fat loss, these fat pads are not there. So their bones are actually more prominent and their eyes are sunken back. And it can look a little dark as well. The next region is the upper arm region, specifically the triceps brachii. The triceps brachii is actually a three-headed muscle that is located on the back of the arm so even though the triceps brachii is a muscle particularly in this region there is a lot of fat accumulation so that is why it is used to assess fat loss so when assessing someone for fat loss with the triceps brachii you want to take your fingers and you want to pull down now for someone who does not have any fat there the skin is just going to hang but for someone who has fat or muscle there you're going to be able to see and feel that the next region is the mid axillary region so what this term means mid means middle axillary means armpit so really as i turn to the side it is this region right here as i'm using myself as a demonstration so specifically in the mid axillary region what the dietetic practitioner needs to pay attention to is that area right in between the hips as well as the last rib i like to think of this area as the um, love hand area so again individuals do tend to accumulate fat in this area but for someone who may have fat loss the fat is not going to be there when you actually start feeling around on their body and the last section that the dietetic practitioner wants to assess for fat loss is of course the ribs so as you see in this picture here here is a young man and here's his chest so you can see some of his ribs, but the ribs are not sunken in. You cannot see every groove as well as cranny in this guy's ribs. So for someone who may have fat loss, you're going to be able to see every curvature of the rib. So this was just a quick review of the areas that the dietetic practitioner needs to look for when assessing for nutrition focused physical findings as it relates to fat loss. So I know that this was very quick, very straight to the point. So feel free to watch this video again if you need to. And as I stated before, nutrition focused physical findings is a very in-depth process. So as I stated, this is just a quick overview of the areas to look for as it relates to fat loss. Thank you guys for watching and do have a good day. Bye-bye.